Hello everyone, my name is Zachary Clevenger. I'm with Abacus Technologies, and today I'm going to show you how to release messages from quarantine in the Barracuda message log. So first things first, you're going to get an email looking like this from Barracuda saying that you have messages in quarantine to review. First thing we're going to do is click this view message log button, and that is going to take us to this web page here. And on this web page, you can just go ahead and sign in. It uses the same email address and password as your email and Microsoft account. So you just put your email in there. Hit continue. From here, it's going to redirect you to the Microsoft login page. So like I said, it's the same password for your email and your Microsoft account. They're one and the same. And you'll get prompted for MFA just the same as you would logging in normally. just go ahead and sign in. All right, and this is what your message log looks like. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and let's find the quarantine message. There are a couple different ways to search. You can use the search function here to search for senders, recipients, as well as the subject line. You have your date presets where you can go through and select the time frame of, of the search. Then you can select between quarantine, deferred, blocked emails. In this case, we're just going to leave it on quarantine. Usually blocked emails are ones that you don't want to interact with anyway. And then you can see here, I do have one quarantine email to review. So we'll go ahead and click on it. And you can see here, I can see who the email's from, as well as their email address. And I can see who it's to, which is sending to my email address. And here's a preview of the email. And this email I only typed in test and sent it, so this is the extent of it here. So now that we have the email pulled up, I've got a couple different options. I can choose to deliver or delete the message. There's more actions here. I can add the sender to an email block list or an add a domain to a block list. Now, if you ever need to block, we always recommend doing the email. If you happen to get a phishing email or a scam email from an account that is on Gmail and you hit block domain, well then every single email under Gmail will no longer come to your mailbox and that's not what we want. Always do add sender email to block list. You can also click this checkbox over here and get a list of options. So we're going to go ahead and click deliver and then it's going to give us two options. We can choose to only deliver the message or deliver the message and add the sender of the email to your allow list. Now this allow list is specific to you and anybody that you add to this allow list will be able to send emails that will bypass the spam filter on Barracuda. Now we don't want to do this for everybody because every time you add someone to your allow list, it does create a small hole in the security. If that account were to be compromised or you mistakenly added a spoofed account, which is you know an account pretending to be someone else to your allow list, well then they can bypass the spam filter and get straight to your mailbox. So for right now, we're just going to go ahead and only deliver the messages. I'll go ahead and I'll click deliver. Now let's go ahead and let's check my email and make sure it's there. Let's open up my email. Go to the inbox. Alrighty. And there it is. That's how you deliver a quarantine message from your Barracuda message log back to your inbox. And of course, if you ever have any questions or any issues, please feel free to reach out to us. We're always more than happy to help.